in the last video we talked about how to create beautiful slideshows in Wix Studio using the multi-state boxes. This time we're going to use the content management system or CMS to add some product categories in our website. Adding a product category on the home page can be a great way to increase the conversion and sales. So we're going to do that and uh, let's go ahead and add a section. Let's uh, resize it. After that, we will need the layout tool and repeaters. Repeaters are a great design element to use multiple boxes with the same design. So you can just uh, design one element in here and it will uh, give you the same design for all these uh, items. So first let's uh, increase the number of items in here. So select the repeaters, go to number of items, let's set it to six. I have added 12 categories, so six per line. Um, another thing I'm gonna do is set the width. Uh, switch to advanced uh, size. You can either press Alt-I or just go here and switch this on. So set the width to 80%. Also a good uh, habit is to always align the elements. You can do this manually, but I will recommend always, uh, you know, aligning the elements so that the design does not disrupt when, uh, you know, changing the uh, viewport or devices. All right, uh, let's, let's make some essential changes. Let's add two more items because we have six here, so you can get the six items. Once you have reached the limit of the number of items per line, the next item will go to the next line right here. Okay, so you can add as many items as you want. Now you can do two things in here. First, you can either, you know, manually add the items or any text or categories in here. Or two, you can connect this to a content management system. We're going to go with the letter one. It depends on your choice, but I will recommend uh, using the CMS if you have more than like 10 or 12 um, items. But if you have like six or seven, you can use uh, add them manually. OK, so let's go ahead and design the uh, elements. First, let's change the background. Let's also decrease the height. So as you can see, when we make some changes in one item, it shows up in across all the uh, boxes, all the items. Let's change the corners. Okay, so um, I think this is good. I will now add um, text to the item. Scale it. Change the uh, responsive behavior to wrap and alignment to center. Let's also change the HTML tag to H3. One problem we will face here is that these text elements cannot be linked to uh, a page or you know product categories in this case um, using the CMS so we have to add an element that can be used to link the uh, this you know item to the product category 
So for that, we're gonna use a basic shape. So go to add elements, decorative. Uh, let's add an arrow. You can use anything that uh, you can link to the product categories. So let's choose this one. Resize it. Let's rotate it to 90 degrees and attach it here. The height of the text is uh, 21 pixels, so let's do the same for the basic shape as well. Let's change the color. All right. And let's stack these two elements together. So hold shift, select both and stack. All right, so we now have the design for the item. We can start with uh, connecting these elements uh, with the CMS. When you add the applications like Wix Store and Wix Block, it automatically creates the collection for those apps. So if you go to your CMS and Wix App Collection, you can see the collections right here. So for the store, we have the collections, which is product categories. We have the products, inventory items, and orders. So what I'm gonna do is I will link these elements with the collections. So to do that, you have to first select the uh, element, go to CMS connections and add a data set. So from here, select the stores, collection and create. Now, as you can see, we now have uh, 12 elements in here, 12 items in here. And that's because I have uh, 12 categories in my Wix store. All right, so the text connects to the name and it will replace all the names. One thing you will notice is the disruption in the you know alignment of these elements. So let's fix this. First, let's choose the stack and align to vertical center and then choose the shape and align it to the vertical center. And this is where the stack really helps you. As you can see, this will uh, you know align to the vertical center with respect to the text. So the design looks really good. So once connected, you can see that all the category names appears in here. Now let's link the shape to the category page. So go to CMS. We don't need uh, the image source. We just need the link. So page URL. All right. You can also add the image um, in the background for example or anywhere you want and that can also be used to you know add the links all right so now we have uh, created the product category section let's add some animations to make this more interesting whatever animations you add to one item will be applied across all of them so I'm going to add the entrance animation to float and an animation on text as well. Let's add some delay and let's add a click animation to this uh, shape. Adjust the animation and set it to 90 degrees. Okay. Let's also add an entrance animation to this.
all right so we have added the uh, elements and connected them to the cms as well now you can change some more settings in here you can uh, show how many products you want you can also add filters we will talk more about the filters in the future videos uh, when we will add the products you can also add the sorting of the uh, elements in here now you can um, change the design a bit uh, for example you can change the background color something like this And you can add more animations, you know, add shadows or whatever you want. You can uh, add these elements, these uh, designs in just one item and it will be shown across all the elements. Now, if you have like uh, less than six categories, I will recommend using a manual, um, you know, addition of the elements. But if you have more than like 10 or 12, the uh, CMS connection will be much better. So this is how you use a content management system in Vixer Studio. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.